so behind us is the RV part of the RV resort if you can understand that so they have RVs that's real close to the RV resort and if you walk through those gates and come through this direction you're gonna pass Flying J which of course just trucks fueling up what a big surprise and then we're going to be getting over to the Lazy Days RV resort and I know you can't see but like your trade-in trade check-in that's over there and then your sales and service is up around the corner so just follow this road all the way around and you'll you'll get to where you need to go what have you been up to i've been riding on a daydream um i'm not gonna show you the whole walk it doesn't make any sense but you can see some of the rvs off in the distance now we called over ahead of time just to ask them if their units were unlocked they said yes um, however like most places I'm sure they want to give me Jim Johnson the best salesman they got to get all our information and so what are you looking at today what can we get you into what's it going to take to put you in an RV today one of those <laughs> I don't have a problem with it we're we're old enough and then we've been around the block enough <laughs> buying things over the years that the high pressure thing doesn't really bother us okay so we walked around the corner and i wanted to point this out as far as cracker barrel you're going to go past cracker barrel but they do have rv and bus parking here not a lot of spots but they do have it and then right after that here's lazy day so through the gate we go okay so lots of toy haulers of course that's a thing uh, something that people have been asking for more and more but reflections we're gonna go look at those we're not a big fan of grand design as far as the fifth wheel so far except for a couple just a couple so we're gonna go check those out so um, the, the quality though of grand design we've always enjoyed that we, we like the, the quality of grand design it's just some of the layouts just aren't quite what we like um, again referring to the video that I already shot that Arcadia um, they completely changed the uh, design of the frame and, and got it approved you won't see a seam any longer um, on those okay so 14,000 pounds and that's with 2,500 pounds of cargo so we know that we don't run that heavy but 14,000 pounds that's a little on the heavy side and as far as the length I've got to guess this has got to be closer to 42 although it says 311 it says BH it's probably a bunkhouse um, so it's got a rear kitchen there so so maybe it's not quite as long as I think maybe it's only about a 38 kind of so you can enter them anyway yeah this is nice it is a bunkhouse as you expect with the slides in uh, you can access one side of the refrigerator and uh, you can definitely walk through I can tell as far as where the, the slide goes you can see not a big deal so we could wiggle by this we could get to the refrigerator um, Heidi's got a big pantry I don't know about the floor the floor I think it's just extra clean because <laughs> it's slippery in here I could ice skate or extra sandy so let's have Heidi go through what would be her area first as far as cabinet space drawers uh, this is something that you guys Ooh, you can get to that on the other side oh nice that's nice I can't reach any of these well maybe these yeah that's always an issue these are nice or adequate and she can open these which one of them she couldn't open they were pretty stiff out of the show I'm not sure what was going on there uh, made with wood looks like all wood so there's obviously some electronics underneath there yep, but that's nice that they made that Let's come around here and look, uh, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up because we're awful dark at this point that is a lot of storage in there I know you can't really see that at all but we didn't bring flashlight yeah we didn't bring a flashlight again these are nice I like this yeah not very deep pots and pans but that's probably what this cabinet is behind her and um, the, ref the freezer refrigerator is just a propane normal. This is nice because it's my height. Yeah. And this, this is nice. This is real nice. Wow. I like that. You feel how heavy this door is? Yeah. 
Um, this door is heavy. I the mean, the knobs are up here, so we wouldn't be asphyxiating ourselves with propane. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only for the idiots like us. <laughs> and then the pantry. Like I said, this door is heavy. I mean, that's that's a that's a solid wood door. Yeah. Of course, the mirror, so you can see how beautiful you are when you're cooking. This this kind of reminds me of the rockwood that we're wanting to look at, right? Yep. Look, seats yeah. directly across yeah. from the TV. And then this is the difference, though, I think, with the Rockwood. Nope. This is the exact thing as the Rockwood. It's got a half bath. But I think there was a little bit of storage in the Rockwood, I thought. Um, in the bathroom? Yeah. Yes, I think there was. I'm almost positive. Yeah. But um, good storage here. Again, sorry about the lighting. I don't see why you couldn't tear this out and put Try it Try the lights just out of curiosity, right behind you. I don't think. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay. So, we want to tear this out. Um, we just use this as storage. Um, and then there's, of course, an outside kitchen out there. Um, and then we I'd probably have this up and probably permanently up. And as far as an office at this point, I would be using the dinette. I, I, I don't know. This one's okay. I wonder what the uh, length is on this one. It says you can take three times longer showers. Does it have a 12? Does it say? Uh -huh. I, I don't. I I don't see what the length is on this, guys. Sorry about that. Um, sorry. <laughs> Let's see this. Oh, walk through bathroom, just like the Rockwood. This is this is pretty much carbon copy of the Rockwood or Rockwood's carbon carbon copy of them. Oh, I like the way these roll. These roll better than ours. So, so much so that it's a little off center and. See if the shower's got more room or less room, do you think? Mm, probably about the same, actually. About the same? Yep. Okay. But I like the way the doors move, feel it? Yeah. Just like, okay. Linen storage, it protrudes into the bathroom. There's a pocket door, so, of course, that can be closed off when you're using the bathroom. And as far as the wardrobe, it's lacking it's different um the rockwood has wardrobe the entire distance here from here to here um and then it has two drawers underneath uh where this one has two drawers that are equal in size there and they do have an extra drawer here however the rockwood also has three drawers for the uh a nightstand and it's a true full nightstand it doesn't have anything that protrudes out into it like this one same on this side it's a full nightstand and then there's overhead cabinets on the rockwood I, I, I like the rockwoods a little bit better we've talked about this in the past I'm sure there's there's some storage underneath here yeah short storage and then your TV back or your TV goes over there um, we use the TV um, yeah, I, I like this one. Yeah, nice. So I'm guessing this has got to be, because Rockwood has a tendency to squeeze theirs in a little bit tighter space. Uh, Rockwood, the Rockwood RV that has this floor plan is 36 foot 6 inches. I'm guessing this one to be 37, maybe 38. I could be totally wrong on that. But um, either way, the Rockwood, the biggest difference is, and it's, it's an ultralight. Uh, you know, they... They want to do something, I don't think, necessarily like a solid pantry door. However, um, the Rockwood is 10,000, just maybe 11,000, fully loaded when it's got everything in it. Um, and this one, as you've seen, it holds more. The Rockwood only holds 1,800 pounds, uh, but um, it, it only tops out, like I say, it's, it's the high 10,000 mark. Uh, this one tops out at 14,000, just under 14,000. So, yeah, it's it's a hard hard thing to say there, tell you the truth. Yeah, it's nice, though. And again, the, the quality, I mean, as far as everything inside, it's it's got a cabin feeling to it. Um, but it looks very comfortable. I, I think... 3610. Okay, so good. Very good. This one's 3610, so it's literally only four inches longer than the Rockwood. Freshwater 80. Okay. Gray water 87. Uh-huh. Wastewater 87. Well, that's pretty darn good. I don't need that much black, though. But it's, 
that still that's that's pretty good. The Rockwood is uh, got less. It's got a smaller fresh. It's got bigger gray. I think the gray is like 110, and then the black is just standard. It's like a, a 45. And the height is 12.3. So th that's comparable to the Rockwood. Good job, Grand Design. Good job. I I like this one. We'll have to put this on our list. Um, the thing that Rockwood's doing with the new ones, there's a couple of nice things. Um, you can get a 12 volt compressor refrigerator. It comes with a solar prep package that has a 190 watt panel on top. It also gives you uh, so many outlets inside the RV, throughout the RV, that have the ability to run off of that inverter when you're boondocking. Um, they also, of course, have some of the nice features. Let's go outside and see if that's going to be the same thing here. I don't like the steps. Yeah, I don't care for these steps at all either. Wow, they look dangerous yeah. at best. They are very narrow and steep. That's, that would have to be changed. So, um, outdoor kitchen. The Rockwood has an outdoor kitchen. We'll have to see what's in this one if it's open. Uh, the Rockwood also has the uh, rear hitch on theirs, but they also option in where you can get a rear rack. You can actually have a rack uh, to mount whatever you feel like mounting, as long as it stays under about 300 pounds. So we'll try to open this up. Yep, I'll just grab that tab, turn turn yours, there you go, and watch yourself. So, I'm sure they have some sort of a cooktop. This is, a, this is actually a very nice kitchen area. There you go, that's the burner. So, you can put your, your induction up on top and cook, I guess. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. There's a lot of storage out here. Uh, don't necessarily need the refrigerator out here. Probably get rid of it, save some weight. Yeah, not bad. I was going to hit you. <laughs> I didn't know how close I was. <laughs> yeah, that would have been rough. That would have been really rough. Um, the other thing that I like about the Rockwoods is um, the torsion, you know, the Torflex axles. Where this has, you know, a traditional axle setup. Um, it does have the Cree 3000 uh, stabilizer or center link, so you got some vibration control there. I don't know if this is open. Nope, let's see if the other side's maybe open. Whoops. Yeah, these are open. The latches are more positive than what I'm used to with Rockwoods. The door is extremely heavy, so yeah. good for there. Uh, Pass-through is pretty much comparable to the Rockwood. They have the same kind of a cut in there to hide some of the accessories, so uh, that's pretty good. That's, that's not so bad. But the door is heavier than what Rockwoods are. That must be a more solid core. Rockwood has some kind of special rotator pin box. Well, I'm not concerned about that because we want to put a gooseneck on ours anyways. Has a Schwinn Tech, uh, which again, Rockwood does that. Not real sure about what's going on here. Seems a little gooey. And um, that's nice. There's some lights here. That's nice. They got LED lights here. Oh, nice. Yeah. So two Schwinn Techs and what's this? Uh, rack and pinion. Yeah, rack and pinion like ours. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I'm assuming there's another dump somewhere. Yeah, in the rear. Uh, actually, there's three dumps. I'm sorry, two dumps. And then your, your stinky slinky goes in that tube in the back. One point, I'm sure, ground control, which it says on there. Not bad. Oh. Heidi, Heidi says she'll buy it. It's a little heavy, though. We could get basically the same thing in a Rockwood and be 2,000 pounds lighter and still haul what we have. So next next one. Definitely getting into a much lighter unit. This is one of those supposedly half-ton towables. I don't believe that at all. However, um, they advertise that it's that, so we'll let it go. Um, 10,195 pounds. Um, this is only 32 foot. Again, you can see where the Rockwood... There's a highway out here, obviously. <laughs> There's a Rockwood, um, you know, right? Well, the traffic's like that every day. Heidi wants to make sure you guys see the traffic, but it's like that every day. This guy's saying he can't stop. No, he's not happy with something. Oh, well, <laughs> a little bit of road rage. Half ton towable. This is four feet shorter and about the same weight as what the Rockwood would be that has the same as this over here. It has a 
Arctic insulation, four season protection. Four season. Well, let's look at the pass through first. I, I should have done this initially. Uh, the door's a little bit lighter. This is about the weight of ours. Pass through is cut in just like uh, like the the ones that I've seen before. It's not. It's it's straight through, but the, this wall kind of curves in, so you lose a little bit over there because the convenience center is over there for the. Uh, water hookups which is fine I don't have a problem with that the steps are definitely a traditional steps and believe it or not even though we like those steps that go all the way to the ground uh, these are definitely better than those steps over there um, smaller you can tell it's smaller you feel it right away as soon as you get in I mean for it to be 32 foot you really get a sense right away how much is lost in you know with the feel it doesn't feel like a grand living room or something. It feels like you're sitting in the kitchen watching TV. Not a bad thing. You got two bunks back here, and they are full. They are good-sized bunks. I don't know about the length for, for adults or anything, or even teenagers uh, that are in this 15 to 18 range if they're kind of tall. This would be our storage area. Of course, we're looking at this in the eyes of what we as a couple would want or need and right now we're just looking for storage and a little bit more room to breathe i guess it does have the roller shades which we're kind of tired to tell you the truth of the shades that we currently have um if if we were to get something like this we would have already bought the mid bunk yeah. um because it's basically the same the dinette would be over here and the kitchen would be over here but the the mid bunk on the rockwood again it's it would be four foot longer than this one the same weight I, I hate comparing it over and over guys but this is what happened with our our, our travel trailer we currently have um, we kept on going back to the same model and we kept on looking at other RVs thinking that we would match up at some point with something else better and we never did not a pass-through uh, good wardrobe over here uh, four drawers the small one the bottom one's a little small I'm sure it's got under bed storage like the last one and the front's just like the last one the front cap area the TV goes on over here you got you got pocket doors which we're a big fan of Rockwood does not do pocket doors I'm not sure why let me rephrase that they do some pocket doors but they need to be doing them more often that's for sure um, so as far as a couples coach this would be perfect all except for the fact you guys gonna realize this is my workstation now. Now, could I tear out the back there and make an office and stuff? Sure. But there's something that I want to bring to your attention about that before we go any further. Whenever you do modifications to your RV, like we did in our old Terry camper, if you haven't watched that video, go back and check it out, where we remodeled the front of our 1992 Terry RV to give us a little bit more seating and a bigger dinette table because I was working from the table. And that's what the situation would be here. I'd be working from this table. But when we did the remodel, um, you'll see at some points during that remodel, um, I talked about needing to make sure I build it back in a certain way. All these things that are back here in the back, they have structural support to support the walls in the corners of the RV. So the fact that you have this here, it's attached to this wall solidly. It's attached to the back wall much more solidly. And then the side wall. And that carries over and it's tied into this cabinet and the cabinet is tied into this sidewall. This is basically modular. This is, they want to lock these walls in. They want to solidify the back of this RV so that structurally it's supported laterally in this case. Um, it, it, it's, it's something that you can't just come in and take out this bunk and expect the wall to be supported in the same manner as it was before because you lose all this support the same with down below so a lot of guys will see this and say I'm just gonna tear all this stuff out and I'm gonna put an office back here I'll just stick a desk in the empty spot and I'll be done with it and that's not the case you would definitely have to have a desk that would wrap around you would have to have a desk that went from this cabinet which I would suggest keeping and it would have to be a wrap around so it'd be an L shape and you have to secure it to this wall you'd have to secure it to the back wall and the side wall and then of course tie it into the cabinet a lot of people don't know that 
uh, no big deal. It's just they build these for a reason the way that they do to help support in certain areas. So just don't go in thinking, I'm going to pull this cabinet out and I'll be fine. Not a good idea. I don't like the steps. Oh, <laughs> so another. <laughs> They're wider, but. Yeah. Well, we're used to them not moving. Right. Um, as far as the outside, same thing. Cree 3000 ground control, one touch ground control. I'm assuming this is an outdoor kitchen of some kind. We'll take a look at that real quick. Except the door's heavy. Uh, very, that's a little cooktop. Very, very little. But again, we don't need the refrigerator. I'm sure I that like would come it out. because it is down to my level. Yeah, it is definitely <laughs> Heidi's height, which is funny. Oh, there's a lot of these that aren't. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. And then back here, we got some storage. I'm sure this goes underneath the bunk quite a bit. I bet you there's a little bit of cabinetry here that makes it a little bit easier. Whoa. Ooh, <laughs> it's a heavy door. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of storage back here. This is a full-blown trunk. This yeah. is this is probably offering at least half the storage that the pastor does. So that's good. Generator in there. Yep, a little generator in there. Can't run it back there, but and of course the hitch. It looks like it has a tow rating because they have a flat four connector there. That's something that the Rockwoods don't have, maybe in the future, but not quite. So again, a little shorter. Um, not sure if that's, like I said, up our alley. It's just a little bit too confined. Okay, so here is one that's a little bit more substantial. Uh, we'll get a, a length on it here in a second. Um, we're talking uh, 15,000 pounds when this is fully loaded. However, again, to get to that 15,000, you're putting 2,500 pounds of cargo in here. Uh, I don't think we'd be that high. I really don't. We have a lot of stuff, but we don't have that much stuff. The one thing that I'm noticing on the Grand Design that I, I, I do like the LEDs down here. I don't like the way this board looks, to tell you the truth. Um, this is basically a strand board, pressed board, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure it's treated. I'm sure it's got all kinds of stuff in it to help with moisture. But then it's just painted. It's just like they take a, you know, a roller or a spray and they, they paint it. Um, where the Rockwood has like a laminate that's underneath that, that you know is more sealed off. This here, is it genius or is it an afterthought? I think this is more like an afterthought, tell you the truth, because basically what you got here is a door that access your wet bay, which is nice. I like it. It's a little door you don't always need in your storage, and you can kind of get to your storage this way. And then, of course, here's your, your, your center to get everything done uh, as far as dumping. But... I did this so it would swing out. Exactly. And, and, and well, it's got a magnetic thing. But is it is that an afterthought? Or was that design, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, because now you've got these two doors that you got to be concerned about on some level. Still, very nice pass-through. You're losing some on this side because the convenience center, which a lot of them do. It wraps around. Uh, that's one of those things that Arcadia had. That Arcadia, they did not want this in protruding into your pass-through storage, so they put it outside in its own compartment, uh, basically face high. So, tell us what the gray tanks are. Black tank. The fresh is 80, the gray is 94, and the waste is 47. That's and that's about what Rockwood stuff is. It's 41 foot long. It's 41. Yeah. Oh man, this thing better have a lot. Lots and lots of room in here, I'll tell you right now. They better they better have a dance floor. And the dance floor should be close to the jacuzzi. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd be towing 41. It's it's just that's too long. I mean that's six more feet than the six more feet we're adding to our tow length. Again, storage here. I'm sure this is an outdoor kitchen of some kind. We'll have Heidi grab the other side. Oh, just the uh, Good, this would be storage because we don't really need that refrigerator. I do like that. So, extra storage, kudos. Been here a little while. Goodyear Endurance tires, got a little air coming out of it. Um, no awning toppers in this model, but I'm sure you could get them. It is a mid bunk uh, with a loft up above. Again, this is basically what you get with the Rockwood. In 36 foot length uh, of course you're more confined here you don't get this much room with the rockwood with a mid bunk 
Um, they do have a mid-bunk model that you can get that's like this, but of course it's longer. It's not an ultralight. I don't know what that was. Probably one of the doors. Beautiful pantry though. Yeah. Heidi loves that pantry. <laughs> Other than the door hitting her. Yeah, it, that's, that's one of those that for Heidi, you, she'll be the first one to admit it. She don't always necessarily remember where she put stuff. Well, if, you, all one if, place. if it's all in one place, you know where it's at. It's the go-to. So you could access the refrigerator um, when this slides in. Only one door, but you can't access this area necessarily when the slides in. Yeah. I, I think it would be, yeah, you couldn't get in here. Well, she was skinny. Which, that's a travel thing that we, we talked about in the past. Again, the mid bunk is nice. Um, good loft up above. And... Um, yeah, uh, I think the, the loft and the, the, the rockwood short one is a little bit more than that. The bathroom should be pretty nice, right? It's not bad. Oh, pretty traditional. Yeah. Got some storage. Linen, yeah, good, deep linen storage. I expect you to keep your stuff in those cabinets without the doors. <laughs> right. Yeah, because when we stop, there's half time we open a door and the stuff comes flying out. Uh, good, good on the bed slide. There's at least shelves on either side. There are power outlets and, um... A good front closet so a nice dresser beautiful Maybe dresser yeah it does help a little bit but the thing is with this is uh too long and too heavy and uh you can't act you know no travel access still we're looking at let's go to the next oh these steps again too Ugh. okay here goes one that's probably a little bit closer to the the 36 foot I almost positive it's 36 foot that we were just looking at or we we're talking about uh, 11,995 pounds so let's just say it's 12,000 pounds when it's fully loaded but again uh, we're talking 2,000 pounds worth of weight going in this now that's comparable with the Rockwood um, this is the same situation as the last one and let's take a look here yeah same same pass through all the way around uh, nothing different there at all. That's what you just seen. 32.9. 32.9. This is a very, this is short. This 80, is 80 fresh, 87 gray, and 47 black. Uh, which are easily doable. Those are good numbers. Um, uh, that's kind of weird for me. I'm not used to having the power cord so far forward. And I definitely don't like it over the hot water <laughs> That's tank. Weird. That's not good. That's a design thing. I I tell you. Okay, so uh, Cree 3000 on the uh, intermediate link there, or the, the shared link. The ground control, you only have uh, you know the jacks behind the axles. This is something you get whenever you're getting the shorter, the lighter models. Uh, you lose some of the ground controls, which I I like. I, I would see what it, I would really want to see what it takes to get more installed if I only had the two. You know, it's they're saying that the, the unit's so short it doesn't need any more. But I'm telling you that, um, like this here, it's really nice when you have them behind the axles, in front of the axles, and then of course the ones on front that get you up and off your your pin. Uh, nice looking unit on the outside. The slides are in on this. This will be kind of different. 303 RLS. We'll, we'll get to see, yeah, as far as travel. Yeah, we'll see what the, it looks like during oh, travel I mode. Actually access Good deal. Awesome. Yeah, access the refrigerator just fine. And bicycle wouldn't go there. This is actually a pretty good layout. I mean, it's traditional. It's the traditional that we always see. Um, yeah, Heidi's looking for a place for our bikes, so because <laughs> we lose the bed. There's a little pantry there. Uh, of course, this island is a lot like the island we just looked at. Uh, this isn't bad. This is this is pretty decent, uh, considering how short it is. Uh, let's see what's up here. I'm sure the bathrooms. Oh, nice. It's, uh, the rockwood, like we're looking at. Uh, storage like Rockwood has here and we already looked at the shower of course you guys see this here this is the the uh, wardrobe or I'm sorry the shower wardrobe got some storage here medicine cabinet 
And we'll go ahead and go through here. Now here's where we get into some weird stuff because again, now we don't have, we don't have pocket doors. And you can see what happens when you don't have pocket doors. So it's not a big deal, but okay. Again, travel, travel mode plenty, but again, you lose some wardrobe here. And again, we're not trying to hound on Rockwood. It's just we've already looked at a lot of this stuff, and we already know. But I have to say this is probably one of my more favorite designs uh, from, nice from Grand Design. And then, of course, your slide toppers will keep all those leaves off. And that's why when they come in, I don't know if you can see it, they've got leaves back there. Plus, how's those lights on in the back? We didn't turn them on. Yeah, they're not turned on from this area here. Let me see if there's a, a panel, maybe. And ceiling light. Well, that's uh. Well, I can't turn those off back there. Oh well, wasn't me. All right, this one here, the slides are in. Uh, we'll still try to take a look at it. Fourteen thousand pounds, fully loaded, but you've got three thousand pounds of cargo that's going on in here which is really nice. Same pass-through as we've seen in the last two. So nothing real big there as far as change. It's got that split door. It does have the solid steps uh, or, I'm sorry, more rides version of these. It does have just a single point ground control behind the axle. It does have this Cree center link like we've seen on a lot. Um, I think all the grand designs have that as far as I can tell. Steps, I still don't care for them, but at least they're solid. I you don't can see travel how, access. I wonder what makes this longer. Cause this looks identical yeah. to that one. Yeah. What in the world? Yeah. Uh, cause the bed's on a slide. Yes. Maybe. Okay. Exactly it. All right. So. so it has like a walk-in closet. This is where you get the pocket doors back again, cause the bed's on a slide, and because of the uh, bed on a slide, you've got um, this situation here where you can travel access but you get it takes away a little bit of, or you have to add length to the rv that's all bathroom's okay i i still rather have kind of a walk through just in case in case somebody's there <laughs> looking at this model uh which i'll tell you here in a second twelve thousand pounds fully loaded that's with 1900 well two thousand pounds worth of weight uh, this is a mid bunk design by the number 31 MB. 36 2. 36 foot 2 inch. Right now, all the boxes are checked positive for us. There, the right length, uh, all that good stuff. Right weight. That is a Yeah, they don't. 80 fresh, 75 gray. 43 waist. 80 fresh, 75 gray? Yep. All right, let's take a look at this pass-through. Much smaller door than what the other ones were. And the convenience center takes away a little bit there. Yeah, I think this would be a outdoor kitchen or storage. In our case, storage, get rid of that little refrigerator. And Schwintex slide, this is a slide on the camper side. I think this is going to be kind of a traditional layout as far as the uh, inside yeah, here. This is, I'm pretty sure. We've seen this. Yeah. It, at the show. At the show, yeah. So big pantry right here. Very, very nice size pantry. Solid door. The couch, Heidi would be loving this couch. However, um, this would be all mine. I would have to take up the whole table. And quite honestly, it's Chancy. it's weird because I would have to scoop myself around the back and be working, looking out. Like I'm, I, I, I much rather prefer sitting. I'll tell you, let me show you here. Although the cushions are very nice. Um, I'd much rather be sitting like this and working. Um, the table's just not wide enough for that. I know you can turn it, which I'm doing currently. Uh, I don't know though. It's far away. <laughs> yeah, it's it just, none of this makes any sense. It just it doesn't make sense. So 
the rear dinette we would it would have to it would have to remove it and i don't even know what to do at that point i wish it was more a traditional dinette but the slide you know prevents it from be doing that uh, as far as accessing this for travel when the slides in you can you know why because you have a slider door there and you have a door directly across from the entrance so you just kind of walk through to get to the kitchen looks like though the refrigerator it's blocked off by the island so travel access eh, not so good um i i like the mid bunk though in this i like this walkthrough this, this makes it a little comfortable i like that there's that there however if that's there that means we've lost all the storage that a loft would provide and remember we're looking for some extra storage true hallway i mean i feel like i'm in a hallway got to take a few steps to get here bathroom eh, adequate that's the best way to describe it and i'm sure that's what i said about the one at the show and then in here you got wardrobe same deal three drawers small one on the bottom so four total uh that's not bad this isn't a bad unit again i have some we have some needs we have some needs for some extra storage that would be normally up here um there's only so much we could do in here uh could i put an office in here maybe uh the thing is uh the it's this isn't a, a couch this is an actual true bunk so this would have to all be reworked and i just talked about that just, just not our our situation just doesn't work for us moving into a, a, an open light i've never looked at these before this is my first time so uh sorry if you own one and i start hammering it on stuff but i'll point out stuff that i see right away that maybe i just don't prefer but works just fine regardless uh 11, pounds when this thing is fully loaded that's pretty darn heavy uh, that's with 1,500 pounds of cargo. Uh, not a lot of cargo for how heavy it is, to tell you the truth. Uh, strut supported mounts uh, for the cargo doors, however, uh, got to bend down quite a ways. And very limited pass through from top to bottom. I could get, I don't think I can get a full size tote in there. I just don't think I can get a full size tote. They don't even give you 30 pound propanes, they're just the shorter. 20, which I talked about in the past that could be a plus or a minus you can exchange those anywhere you want however I do like the 30s now that I've had them for a while Schwintech slide again this is that pressed board that is just kind of like a better word just painted it's just painted board um, Schwintech slide here uh, it's getting a little bigger bigger on a slide to have a Schwintech on it but still right away one of the things I don't care for is okay it's time to dump the gray water let's go ahead and climb underneath this slide or walk in between these slides to get to the handle that's right there uh no thanks that that's too much work the roof the pvc roofing membrane has a 15 year nice warranty non-prorated cool what's the tank side what's this um, what's I'm the length a, on this first? i'm having a hard time finding that oh, okay because, um, obviously they got the front end down with the back this high uh, you do have a hitch back here you do have a bumper i like the hitch and the bumper being back here a, a normal bumper of course your ladder to get up top and we'll go ahead and work around this is a big slide i'm not sure why the slides are out kind of differently i don't know how else to describe that uh, it, i mean I, I just not sure it's it's kind of odd maybe they don't have the slides out all the way so the model number on this is what, Hyde? What's the... It's a 335 MBH. Ooh, sounds like a mid bunk. Steps, but I'm having a hard time. Looks nice. I like this. I've got another Schwintech slide. So they got Schwintech all the way around. I prefer that over the cable, personally, myself. Um, again, it's just a preference. Cooktop, drawer, little refrigerator. And that is not that is closed off that's that's not a, a, a story journey thing for out here and this door is 11. this is 37 foot huh okay let's go ahead and take a peek in here see what we got just storage looks like they're trying to get you to hang your tv in here if you want to watch it outside problem is no struts i'm sure they just have those magnetic latches but wow i don't know hey heidi come here let's have a little experiment I want you to close your TV. Now again, the, the back end's up higher than normal. Nope. 
Because yeah. they just come down and hit you in the face. <laughs> right. I can see that. I, I mean, right now it, it's lip. it's a little bit higher than what it would be in the back, but still, um, yeah. Not for short people. I like the steps. Oh uh, yeah. I, I yep, I like it too because they your foot don't go off the edge. Don't feel like you know feel like you're walking in a little pocket. So. This is different. Um, with the slide in, uh, I yeah, I'm sure you could access. Let me see. Is there a pass-through door? No. All right. I think with this slide in, you can get around it. I'll let you guys be the judge. I know the camera's kind of deceiving here, but that's not a very big slide. So this slide in, I think we could squeeze by. The refrigerator looks like that. Yeah, you should be able to swing it past this. This is a big island. Yeah. This is a lot bigger than what I'm used to, and. This is a lot of cabinet space here. The interior is very light in here. I wish you guys could see how light colored it is. Big pantry, Heidi loves that. I like this layout. Um, I'll tell you the thing that I don't care for, um, and it's becoming something that uh, people have been talking about more, and I kind of agree, and that is lots of windows, lots of light, but if you're in a campground, that means lots of views of your neighbors all day long and if you prefer to be nosy and just hang out and watch what they're doing which I'm guilty of to some extent sometimes um, then that's fine but I would much rather have my campsite you know be able to see outside my campsite but I do like uh, I do like this I I have to say that all this is pretty nice we're gonna sit down on one of these soft soft recliners the material is a lot softer than what it looks like and of course I think this is for um, you to be able to put some sort of a storage you know an eating tray a, a drink tray whatever and then there's some power buttons here I'm sure they're recliners TV right across easy viewing comfortable it feels comfortable in here 37 foot a little on the long side a little on the heavy side but you do get the ability for me to have my workstation separated. Yeah. Not only that, Heidi's got a couch to take a nap in or recliners to take a nap in. Or we can use this for the TV. And we still have a bonus room. And whenever Heidi gets snoring from her nap, I send her in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, it does have a uh, drop down bunk. Desk. And I'm sure this is a pull out bed. Oh, this is a very small desk. She's right. Very nice. This isn't bad. This, is, this isn't too bad. I, I don't like the, the dump handle where it is underneath the slide. Oh, oh you like that. Okay, let's see. Pass through bathroom. Thank you. Very good sink top. There's a lot of room here that probably don't come out of camera, but. Oh, look at this. You can actually see if the shower's actually dry. Yeah. Uh, the toilet. We're going to look at something here that I'm not necessarily a big fan of. Oh, it might be okay. It might be okay, guys. And it is. And this is what I'm talking about. Me having room, not bouncing off the walls. Definitely got room here, so good. Now, as far as going back to the, now, as far as going back to the sink, a little bit of storage underneath. Not very much. Probably the biggest medicine cabinet I've seen so far. What do you think, Hyde? Did you see this? Yes. Did you see inside yeah. of it? It's it's, it's double door. Yeah. So here we go with the uh, linen for the bathroom, and then we have our wardrobe, and then again the, the three drawers. However, what Rockwood has here again is the same kind, but they got wardrobe the whole way. But look at these. You got some hanging closets here of some kind. Um, yes. So we could put stuff in there if we needed to. Um, and then there's still storage above the bed directly. Good. We get drawers, what we're used to. Like I said, with the Rockwood, that's what they have. So you have little end tables. I'm sure there's storage underneath here, so let's take a peek there. Yep, sure is. And the TV can go right in front of the bed where it should be. It goes right here because there's no doors or anything to be concerned with. After looking at this one, overall... I kind of like this. What do you think, Hyde? It has some downfalls. What do you, it, it's got some downfalls. One of the downfalls is it is 37 feet, right? Yes. 
it is a little bit on the heavier side not crazy though um, but oh the worst thing that I don't like is the the gray dump sides again what was the tank sizes um, so we can get an idea about that that's nothing like looking up uh, yeah the the I'll have to say Heidi the grand design it's it pops used, up immediately yeah so I'm uh, fresh is 51 mm, smaller than ours 58 for the gray, gray and 29 for black so we're gonna look this up because I'll tell you right now if those numbers are correct for this uh, that's strike one two three four I don't like where the gray tank flush is I don't really care for the pass-through storage size and one two three four those all three of those tank sizes are inadequate we looked up this model and it's even worse um, this is not good guys this is the only way you could do this is if really campsite only I can understand um, fresh water is 51 gallons uh, that is nine gallons less than what we have in our 30 foot travel trailer um, the gray water is 58 that is roughly 13 gallons more than what we have in our 30 foot travel trailer and the black water is 29 and that is considerably less um, by what's that 15 16 gallons less than what we have in our 30 foot travel trailer now the reason we have a problem with that and you may not is our last travel trailer and our current travel trailer we know that both of them had 45 gallon black tanks we know we can go 10 days whenever we're out camping and we don't have hookups on our black tank using it like you normally would nothing crazy um, the gray water uh, 45 is fine for us we know how to handle that so this having 58 in the gray is super but the fresh water needs to be <laughs> at least 60 at least 60 so that the narrow pass through on this one and the uh, gray water dump the only way we could do this one is if the price was incredibly low really low tell you the truth all right so we're gonna look at the next one right next to it looks like it might have dual batteries because it has two openings for vents that usually means there's a couple battery boxes um, if that's the case so let's take a peek here and there's only one battery box it looks like maybe oh the other vents for the propane okay I get it um, looks like this might be kind of set up for a generator though all that's metal and there's cutouts there so that's nice like that go ahead and snap this back in place looks like the front end's a little bit lower than what it should again I don't really care for the underlayment here um, I would probably paint the crap out of this once we got it <laughs> I mean just with something I don't know a truck bed liner or something and I bet this pass through is just like the last one we haven't looked at the weight yet you haven't missed it yeah, the pass-through, I, I just can't... Look, guys, this is my hand, and it, it, it's real close to the top. It is two hands for sure. Not even two hands to get up there. Um, that's very tight. I'd, you'd have to have... I think you might be able to get a full-size tote in there, like a 30-gallon tote, but it'd be really tight. Um, but it is wide. It's not cut off with anything, but then that gets me to another point that I don't care about. Um, at least on the last one but not on this one gray and black there's the levers there so that makes it a little easier traditional axle it does have an equiflex rack and pinion on the slide here and uh, look at all these little ants Jeez. that's bad <laughs> um, and a Schwintech slide so this is a lot like ours as far as the slides go and we'll walk back just a little further I'll show the back Heidi's looking up some numbers for us um, it's not very long you got a gray water holding tank back here it looks like yep so you got two hookups to dump again traditional bumper uh, spare tire carrier uh, looks like you've got uh, your hot water tank in the back you got a grill set up here we'll go ahead and walk around I like the way they look it's a it's a nice look a full awning the whole way and no slide on the campsite I do appreciate that I mean that makes sense to me uh, just for the fact that you're not intruding in the little bit of area you are given we definitely get rid of the uh, refrigerator not not our thing 
you do have a little sink here do have an oven but now we get into the situation or not an oven but a stove but we get into the situation of just imagine Heidi cooking I mean what do you think I want you to cook me go ahead and fry up some burgers in that grill can you even somebody said on one of our videos this that the almost all the I I don't know I, why they're so I probably hard. would never use it yeah it's too tall Yep, that's a, that's a shame. It's a real shame. It's just it, it just a little bit of, you know, they, they want to give you some of the features that people are looking for, but sometimes they don't realize that if the feature can't be used, then you can't use it. Uh, it's no good to be added. They already got a, a hinge on this. It's a little goofy, but it still works. Is it an ultralight or a light? Um, I'm not sure. The weight's probably an ultralight. Storage here. This is nice. Not overly big, but still nice. One thing I don't care for, though, is it's not sealed off. Uh, again, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up, but there are definite gaps all the way around here and up and over. I can put my hands up and over. If I put something in here, like our grill, for example, um, you know that barbecue grease smell. Uh, charcoal smell if you're doing charcoal that that might protrude into your living quarters so not not a cool idea there we've always talked about this in the past but over the years we've gotten used to it and that's all the noise that may come from this if you're outside sending underneath your awning and maybe whatever little noise your refrigerator provides might come out underneath the awning I'll tell you right now the refrigerator noise that we have is so little but when the furnace kicks on we can tell again let me show you the Equiflex center link there. Just a little bit better than stock. I, their website is terrible. <laughs> we'll see if there's anything inside that tells us what's going on. Friction hinge. This is not one of those zero gravity steps, but it is a, a good step with a nice landing on top. Um, the inside is totally not usable for us, except I can maybe put, you know, the, the table. I could I could make just a small table to go in for my workstation. And I don't like this at all. Um, we talked about this at the show. Um, the only way this works is if you, uh, you know, you hide the, your, your storage. Um, again, for us, we're looking at storage. We're looking at it as a storage thing. When that's closed, you lose all that light, all that window, and now you're just left with uh, this big dance floor. I mean, it's a large area, feels comfortable, and yeah it, it just don't feel right this is a wrong feel um, for kids you want to keep an eye on whatever I could see it storage wise awesome I mean it, look at all this back here this look, would but, if you had six kids under the age of five oh yeah they could <laughs> all pile in there got a lot of seating for them. <laughs> looks like there's storage underneath too that's kind of nice uh, it probably just comes out to a bed no I think that's storage you got to pull both uh, Maybe both straps. And I could be wrong. And I'm wrong. That turns into a bed. Mike's wrong again. Get up nine kids. <laughs> um, as far as Heidi's pantry, well, she ain't got it. It's, it's actually that closet. And all those shelves in there. Again, that would be nothing but storage for us. Uh, That's Heidi, very nice. Heidi would have a hard time reaching the refrigerator, the freezer. Yeah. She can't reach the cabinets over top of the stove or the uh, TV at all. Typical bathroom. Uh, with the slide in. Uh, yeah, I think you might be able to walk around. Yeah, yeah, you can walk over that cushion. The bathroom's right here. Immediately, one step, you're in the bathroom. It is a walkthrough, same as what we just seen. This is the kind of glass we have in ours. That's what I was saying. It's kind of hard to see when it's dry or not. We try to keep it dry in there. Pocket door, good storage. We already seen this setup in the last one, but um, this is. Uh, as much as I hate to say it, this is a, a non-working type deal. Could we do something in the back and make an office somehow? If you tore out all that stove refrigerator thing we've seen outside, that's what is underneath here. Maybe. Um, you can make it an office. But again, we're losing storage. We need storage. Uh, do we have a lot of stuff? Again, yeah, but not not a crazy amount. It's just when you go from a truck 
uh, pulling a travel trailer with a cap on it, you lose that cap and all that storage when you go to a fifth wheel. So I have to find a place for our bicycles and our totes. With that said, oh, I, we could maybe, uh, I don't, maybe one bike could get in here, possibly. I doubt it. What a shame. Huh, the other one would have to sit over here, probably fall onto the TV. This is, this is a unique floor plan for somebody. It's just not ours. Lots of counter space. Holy cow. Ice maker, coffee maker, your keys, all kinds of stuff. But and in the meantime, their website, Heidi still can't find out tank sizes or anything. So looks like 51. And this is somebody else's, so I, I can never find it on theirs. It's not user friendly. 51 gallons fresh, 58 gray, and uh, wastewater's 29 again. Okay, so this don't want to close. I give up. I give up. Let somebody else figure that out. Kind of give you a once around here at all these. These are all full profile, not not over huge profiles, but still these are big profile. They're all heavy um, to my standards. Again, I wanted to stay very light with what we had. These are all much more expensive than what we want to spend. They are all very nice, but you can get an idea how much money's involved. I mean, all of these you're looking in the 60,000 range, maybe 55 on the low end. If it's a year old, they're trying to get rid of it. Uh, just, just too much for what we want. It, it's, we don't need this. Um, you can get a good quality, lighter weight unit, as we've already seen with the Rockwood that we have currently. Um, all these have problems, all these have issues, just like ours have. Um, the difference is we paid a lot less than that. Um, it, it's just too much. I mean, you're looking at some of these. There's the uh, Hathaway Edition, Cedar Creek Hathaway Edition over there, Cedar Creek Champagne, the Solitudes, uh, Montana Legacy. You're looking at um, uh, the Mobile DRV Mobile Suites and the Beacon by Van Lee or Van Lee. It's just just a little bit high end for us. Riverstone, I mean, that's Rockwoods, or I'm sorry, Forest River's big one. Uh, it's just too much. It's too much money for what we want to do. We're, we're looking to keep a little bit lesser than that. If we were trying to be a little bit more permanent, and when I mean permanent, in one spot, um, that's a whole different story. But um, there's a lot of nice things that you get with these big ones that you don't get with the, the ultralights. Uh, with these big ones they have a big drop frame you have big pass-through storage and it would hold almost everything that we need if not everything that we have however you also get all that extra weight that you know uh, empty weight before you even put anything in it you do get a lot of luxury inside a lot of fine quality but they're doing that with smaller models that you can actually travel with i mean you see the way i drive <laughs> I, I like to I like to throw it around. I like to get into places. I like to drive down the road at a pretty good clip if I have to. Now I'm trying to break myself of that habit. One of these big heavy ones would force me to break that habit. If not, I would probably end up breaking something or wrecking. But um, these are all kind of fantasy. So with that said, let's go look at some fantasy. Just a few of them. Now we're not going to go crazy, but... Um, thing is uh, if we can uh, go ahead and get our uh, uh, what do you want to say what's that called uh, a GoFundMe <laughs> let's do a PayPal <laughs> if you guys want to PayPal the crap out of us and say here you go here's two bucks for your RV that is too we'll, we'll, we'll come down here we get enough money we'll get it we'll go get a new dually diesel and we'll pick one of these babies up how about that because I can tow anything I can tell anything that we can do. Yeah, I love the way this one looks. Um, I don't like how low the front end is, though. So just out of curiosity, let's yeah. go ahead and see what the weight is. Um, not much for details here. We'll just do a rough one on this, guys. Uh, so we are at 18,000 pounds when this is fully loaded. Can my truck pull that? No. <laughs> my, my truck is very comfortable at 15,000 pounds. If I was to get different gear ratio in the truck, could I pull it? Yes. 
Uh, 4.30, I think, puts me close to that, if I'm not mistaken. The steps are nothing fancy. We've seen these steps plenty of times. Once inside... There's your desk. You got a desk. Okay, so I guess we have to buy it now. <laughs> so let's go look at the diesels, because I already have a desk. Um, one thing I'm kind of curious about on these, um, if you do have a desk, how do you roll your your chair over this, you know, this section here? You have to put a plastic yeah. thing But down. still, I, I think it would probably damage it at some point. This already has insulated windows, Heidi. Already okay. got them installed, already, you don't even have to option them. Yeah. An ice maker, of course. Wow, you, countertops feel completely different. The couch is huge. The chairs are plush. It's very nice, I, you know, very nice. Very, very nice. Just, this is above what we need. I need this desk though. It's a good idea. Maybe we can option that in that desk and some of these other ones. Get rid of the dinettes. And, um, they already have the flush. For how nice this unit is, this bathroom does not scream, oh my God, to me. It's nice. Let's just say that. It's nice. Nothing crazy. The bedroom, Heidi would be upset because she don't have her storage shelves on either side. It already has a bamboo topper. We did a review on the bamboo topper. Not the mattress, but just the topper. Um, Heidi did a review on that. So if you guys haven't had to check that out, go back and check that out. I think those discounts may apply possibly too. We don't even know. It's been a while. Yeah. Nice dresser. And here's a slide. This is cool. Washer dryer, of course. Stackable. <laughs> Washer dryers work. Yeah, good storage here. Not bad. Like I said, though, um, j just this is above what we want. And this isn't a true dream, anyways. That desk is almost a dream. But, <laughs> all right. On to the next okay, one. so we couldn't pass this up because of the paint job. Really nice. Love it. This whole black thing. Except it's just like the truck. Can't keep it clean. Uh, total weight on this one beats the other one by 500 pounds. And that's because I think it's a little bit nicer inside. I, I, again, you love to see the black paint until the white spots get on it, or even a bird craps on it. Yeah, this is a little bit more than what we would ever really need. And you got the kick vacuum down there. The wood color in here is definitely different. Amber glaze. Look it in here. I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. oh my. Yeah, this is definitely uh, on the luxury side. This wood is really crazy, though. The whole wood look. It's it's a almost a nautique. Freshwater seventy. Gray water ninety. Black water forty five. Nothing special there, but these guys are hooked up. Yeah, it's not like sure. they're out in the desert. <laughs> no. And I don't like this. This, to me, looks like, uh, oops, the refrigerator don't fit. Well, we'll still stick it in there. What do you mean you can't open the cabinets? We'll just put ropes on them so they don't open and hit it. I, I don't like that at all. 42.4. Yeah, 42 foot, but way too heavy for the, uh, like I said, I'd have to get some different gearing. And probably best just get a dually diesel. Well, the lights come on through the steps. The bathroom is... Eh. It's the same as the last one. Yeah, it just doesn't... Eh. And it's the same with the bedroom. Identical. Again, the I mean, the woodwork and everything is kind of cool in this one. I, I, I haven't, you know... I don't like the woodwork. I, it, Look um, at some of this detail in here. Yeah, but I, I don't... Uh, it's very nice. Yeah, it is. But I don't like the color. Yeah. If it was white. I can't see the color really. Which I mean, is it, an option. It just reminds me of a boat. Really, right. Yes. It's exactly it. You probably did that on purpose. But the rear living's nice. Of course, you got to have a wine cooler. Ch I'm sorry. Chiller. Or whatever that is. All right. Let's see what else we can do. The uh, uh, Hathaway edition. Forest River product. It's a Cedar Creek. Uh, this weighs 16,190. Um, that's with 3,686 pounds of cargo in there, so if I kept off the cargo, I could technically pull this. The 34 IK. 
guy's getting his motorhome pulled in that's not good uh, this is a little bit shorter considering that it's you know some sort of luxury deal uh, doors heavy and again nice big pass-through already has a reel there for your cord and everything that's very nice um, just they're stepping it up they're gonna charge you for that but they're stepping it up let's go ahead and go inside now mm. okay nothing special typical fifth wheel very nice looking uh, seven one inch 37 foot cool 69 fresh 80 gray 40 black yeah, we could deal with that the too. 13.5 is the height. Yeah, not bad there either. I'd rather keep it around 12 foot. The but... GBWR, mm -hmm. GC, me, 16. Yeah. Yeah, the truck's rated for 15, so no go there. Coat, convenience center. Uh, the bathroom is definitely better. I don't like how much sink is here, but. This is different. Hmm. I'm not sure why they think we need two faucets. I mean, I guess we would brush our teeth at the same time, right? I mean, that could happen. Oh yeah, we're we're in the um, same bathroom I so don't, often. I don't like the fit and finish, and I'll show you why. This doesn't go to the wall, and there's there's a silicone yeah. bead that runs all across here. I know you guys can't necessarily see it, and there there's even a gap here. Flip on one of those lights, see if they come on. They're all on already. So there's already a gap back here so that whatever water may get in here and if you're on level it's just going to run down the wall but i don't like that i mean i've done bathrooms in the past and i can do better than that and i'm not even a worker like that but that said nice shower um not very wide but long you know not very wide this way but long plenty of leg room let's go see what the bedroom is heidi didn't seem very impressed with it does have a couple shelves that you can hit your head on though um, but they do give you shelves uh, a dresser here nice and washer dryer prep nice deep closet sorry about the lighting there I don't, I don't think you're gonna be able to see that so much but not bad um, again just not our thing a little too heavy I, I just can't you know imagine I, I starting to dread hooking up at this point and, and driving I, I enjoy the drive right now I don't want to kill it all together but you are towing a trailer so um, you get the right truck and it's not a big deal here is the champagne like I said this is the Cedar Creek and it's the Hathaway edition but this is the champagne it already comes with an air ride which for the uh, pin um, see what I was saying Forest River it's some kind of a like laminate that's on here it's not painted it's it's just different. I don't know how else to describe it. 18,000 pounds this one is, and that's with 3,353 pounds of cargo. You got a bunch of slides. You got three on this side. I think we got two on this side. So so far this is the slide king. 41.8. Yeah, we've got five slides on this. Freshwater 57. Take that back. We have six slides on this one, so it's definitely the king. Fresh water Go ahead. 57. 57 fresh. 80 gray. Uh huh. 40 black. Well, the thing is, is that probably Heidi's not realizing, or maybe she does. Um, and, oh, again, guys, 38 EFK. People aren't boondocking with these. You're right. So they don't need big tanks. Right. Um, okay. This is nice. You got a thing going on here. Let's look, go ahead and look in the bathroom, wow. or the bedroom in the back. Wow, very nice. This is a very nice bedroom. Um, washer dryer prep, plenty of cabinets. Heidi, I put uh, my dirty magazines on the top shelf there. Heidi would never know I had them. She can never see them. <laughs> uh, same with putting stuff up on that shelf. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Um, I don't yeah, use. These are I don't use magazines. Flat. I have online subscriptions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that too. <laughs> yeah, these are, uh, this is a nice bedroom. Bathroom wise. Uh, a little tight on the seating there. Uh, let's see. 
Now remember, you know how much this thing is or how big it is and what it weighs and the length and everything. Should I really be in a situation where I hit my shoulder when I'm on the bathroom? I mean, I'm literally up against this door. Now granted, when the door is closed, there's a little bit more room, but hey, not very much. I think they could do better with that. Take away a little bit in the uh, the bedroom. A uh, very nice living area. L very comfortable. Very inviting. Lots of windows. Great big TV. Um, I like that. And then of course Heidi. I really like this that. This is all about Heidi up here. Now I don't I like, like this. They didn't. The, the finish on this is kind of weird. I yeah. don't know what's going on there. That looks unfinished, tell you the truth. But, yeah, we've got a couple seats up here. That would have to be your desk. One, uh, one side would be. Um, I'm having a pr problem with the fridge already. <laughs> this is one of the issues with residential fridges. So, they're having a problem with it, it looks like. Maybe not. Maybe they're just putting it together. Um, where is this going? How do you get this refrigerator out? Well, the only way this gives out is when you take out one of these slides. So you're going to take out this slide most likely because the microwave is the only thing connected to it. And that little cooler. Um, that's got the stove connected to it. But still, that's the reason I don't really like these refrigerators. Um, in case you have to remove them. That's crazy. Nice up here, though. Look at all the counter space. If, they, if there was an option to have a smaller fridge, you could have more storage. Yeah. which a pantry. At this point, I think... Well, the pantry would be nice. You don't have a pantry. I mean, there's a lot of cabinets here. Yeah, it, it's this is nice. It's yeah. you get a good feel for it uh, overall. Just being in here, it feels very comfortable. But again, I, I can't imagine the routine of hooking this up and, mm -hmm. and going down the road. And you notice I'm not talking about travel access because the none of these would be probably a good deal to pull off the side of the road and be able to get in for the night and by the way guys i don't know if you've seen it but hanging off the refrigerator was the uh msrp sticker uh over a hundred thousand dollars but they give you a peephole so you can see who's coming to take the rest of your money heidi seen uh that it has triple axles on here and said we got to go look at that one this is a drv mobile suites and we are at, uh, let's see, 10,886 pounds, and that is with cargo of only uh, 2,370. That's actually about, uh, it's more than what we would do, that's for sure. It's only 140,000. Oh, so we might be able to get two of these. They have a buy one, get one. Um, I don't know if you've already seen this, but wow, why I can't believe for that much money they're putting a cable slide on here. And why is this all bent out already? And why is this seal not flipped with the slide out? I mean, this is uh, something that I would start being picky about with this much money. Let's see what it looks like in here. All right, so we got lifts on the door and plenty of room in here uh, so much so that they've got their furniture stored in there got doors to access the stuff that you need to access to work on four hundred forty thousand dollars it should not have any off gas again i won't be going back in there oh oh my wow this is very strong guys this That's is why that, uh, detector's going off. this is what this is somebody's paint it it smells like paint Smells like an auto body shop. This smells like nothing but Bondo. Yeah. Wow, is it strong. Whew. Okay, you guys got to get a look at this real quick because I can't handle this too long. Oh, I got a mask. Let me cover up my face. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, whew, jeez. Now I can't see out my glasses. A desk and we still have a table. Yeah, this is nice. I, I could deal with this. Wish I had a better window. Put blinders on me. Yeah. Um... But it does have a desk. Holy cow. And Watch that's, yeah, that's huge. Here, let's see that again. Okay, sorry. Wow. That is huge. Go ahead, step in there. Show everybody what size it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's big. Uh, again, big refrigerator here. Oops, sorry about that. I'll have to say, though, 
Um, it's chintzy for the price. Right, but the the layout's nice. Got a dishwasher. Yeah, the layout's very nice yeah. in here. The layout's are super nice. I don't know how long it is. But, oh, the bathroom's in the back. The closet. That's I nice. Like that. Okay. Uh, the bed, we do have little shelves. That's cool. Little windows. Um, another potential desk. No, this is all dresser all the way across here. And again, guys, listen, manufacturers, if any of you are watching, we don't need two sinks. We would much rather have the counter space. Yeah. I know that we have a medicine cabinet to keep stuff up and out of the way. But if we're well, living in this... Use it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that. Um... Plenty of room around the commode. Nice shower. No sit down, but nice shower. And Very nice this all closet. cedar. Yep. This is a cedar closet. Um, I don't know what that's back there. I can't see. So Heidi's going to turn on her little heart light real quick here. Oh, safe. Got a safe. Because your daddy wore bucks to get this. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, nice. Another dresser again. Another this shelving over here. Really? It's yeah. all it's all cedar again. Yeah, look. Oh, sweet. <laughs> nice. I, I have to say That's this your closet great, over there. Great layout. This probably has the best layout. Has some kind of a one-touch flush thing. Full bowl, little bowl. Mm, yeah. That's nice until it breaks. We already yeah. know. We talked to somebody that has that. Can't even do so, a non-slam. <laughs> this is all the electronics required for that normal flush thing. Probably a couple thousand dollars for yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, this is a... Very nice. It's a nice layout, but holy cow, we, we got to get out of here. I'm getting high off this stuff. It's because I almost bought it. <laughs> right, so we're not going to look at this one. This is a trade-in that's just come in. But look at this already. This is a 2019. Look at all this delamination that's going on here and this separation. That is definitely some kind of warranty that needs to be taken care of there. That's horrible. That is really bad. For a 2019, it's one year older than ours. Mm. Hopefully that's why it's back in here. Um, or why it's still here. I, I don't know what the deal is there. Um, no toy haulers. Sorry, guys. Just not into it. We'll go down a little further and see what we can right, find. So this is a Cougar with rear living. Uh, let's see. Heidi's going to show us the pass-through. There's the wet station there, that key TV that Keystone offers. And... Um, yeah, this is nice. That is a nice storage area. Look at got these little flip-up trunks. Obviously, this is a used model. Uh, they got a whole bunch of gloves there. That's nice. Look at a glove center for your yeah. black tanks. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the cable slides. I know a lot of people have no problems with them. I, I just don't prefer that myself. And I do like that they have the same kind of cover that we have on ours some kind of a you know plastic cover so let's go ahead and take a look at this one again this is a 2018 um, 19, it says oh well it's a 910 2018 and uh, 12,390 pounds when it's fully loaded and that's with 1,750 pounds of cargo again this is a used model we, we're, we're walking through a few of them that are used we already seen the storage from the other side again. That's for a little length. really, yeah. and the slides on this side is in, so we'll get to see if it's travel friendly. Maybe the slides broke. Maybe that's why it's here. Wow! Talk about well, if the other slide was in, you wouldn't be as travel friendly. But yeah. this is nice. Oh, these are lights. That's a good accent. I like the accent lighting on these. Uh, these here is what I'm talking about. These are all lights all the way up there, too. It's a nice looking unit. Nice pantry. Got a little bit of a smell to it. Just a slight little tinge of a smell. Heidi's probably right. Should have my thing on it. The door is one of those unique doors. Now, here's the deal. Again, there's not a pass-through bathroom. So if I get up in the middle of the night, I need to go to the bathroom, um, not a big deal. But if I'm done with my shower and I don't have the room in there to change or I forgot my clothes in here, which this bedroom's pretty adequate, not bad. There's nothing unbelievable about it, but it's very good. I, nothing wrong. Yeah. Um, but if I 
come out of the bathroom. You can see the door. They make it to where I don't have to necessarily walk around the door. Um, there is some storage in here. Uh, the toilet is extremely close to the wall. The shower. There's something to be said that there is a sh door here and yet they have a shower curtain. So uh, something feels weird about this one to me. I don't know what it is. It just... I don't feel, it doesn't feel homey, and I can tell you one thing, they haven't been cleaning the top of their slide the way that they should, and there is no way there's slide toppers on here, not with it looking like that. Right, so we just got done with the majority of the units over there, um, as far as the variety that they have. Not a lot of travel trailers today, you can see people checking in their stuff there, we're kind of cutting through. And we're going to walk over to the Flying J and head back to our campground. So we'll pick this up later because I'm tired. How about you? Yeah, I'm all right. She's all right. She's in better shape than me. 